Hey Collective, hey, welcome back to the channel. Shout out to all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna jump right into the video again. If this message resonates, please leave a like. Um, if the video does not resonate as you're watching it, please click off. I don't need your um, negative comments, okay? The message just is not for you, as simple as that. You don't have to get in the comments talking about, well, no, this didn't happen this way for you and this and that and that and this and this is BS and this and that. No, this message just is not for you, collective. Or you could be a karmic. The message is not resonating. It's not for you. Find something else to watch. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, again, I'm going to start with using, using the Chosen Ones Oracle deck here. I will leave the description excuse me, the link in the bio, um, shout out to Maji if anybody wants to purchase her Oracle deck, okay? But I'm picking up an energy here, Collective, where I'm picking up a sad energy. Like somebody just want to throw in the towel is what I'm hearing. Somebody is tired. Somebody feel like they can't take any more Collective. Wow, we got you were born to be a legend here. You were born to be a legend. So I'm getting this is why you've experienced the things that you've experienced. This is why your testimony is your testimony. See, you were born to be a legend. You were born to be great collective. You were born to be great collective. Then we got Lamarian blood here. And then we also have star seed. So again, it's something about your lineage here, something about who you are, something about your history, something about your, your ancestral history here. You were born to be a legend. I'm also hearing royalty. This is why you went through the traumas that you went through collective. This is why, yeah, you're feeling like you want to give up collective because your name holds power here. The devil is really fighting some of us collective. And then we got dark night of the soul. The purge. So some of you are being purged collective. Some of you are literally being cleansed on the inside. See, this is how God worked. Before you can be just um i'm gonna say before like the heavens can literally open up and rain upon you you have to go through this purge collective you have to be cleansed on the inside there are so many people in this world that are beautiful on the outside but are filthy nasty on the inside see when god is doing something God is going to orchestrate things that is done the right way here. So God is literally cleaning you up. We know that you were born to be a legend collective. We know that you are a star seed here collective. We know that you come from a, a divine bloodline, an ancient divine bloodline here. But God is cleaning you up collective. You had to experience those things is what I'm hearing. How can you help someone else if you have not been through anything? How can I help you collective if I have not experienced anything? Because I'm telling you, if you heard my testimony, you would not believe it. I can't help you if I haven't been through anything. So this is what I'm hearing collective. Yeah, you're, you're being purged right now. You're being cleansed right now. The rainy season is over, collective. I'm hearing that drought that you experience is over, collective. Yeah, you are about to be blessed, collective. You are about to walk into this new season, collective. God is just cleaning you up. I'm hearing it's over, I'm hearing it is over collective. Dry your tears. Yeah, we got wake up here. What did I say? Dry your tears. 
And then we do have spell work at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, this is why you're being purged, Collective. The divine is literally waking you up. Waking you up to who you really are. Waking you up to your true abilities, your true gifts, your, your true talents here. I'm also hearing opening up your chakras. What else is this message for the collective? Yeah, we got angels are protecting you, baby. You're highly protected. Angels are literally surrounding you. Remember, we just saw spell work at the bottom of the deck. You are protected. You are protected. See, because of who you are, you are being fought the greatest. To whom much is given, much is required, collective. To whom much is given, much is required. Somebody comment down below, I'm chosen. Yeah, collective, you're chosen ultimately. You're chosen. This is why you had to weather through those storms. This is why you had the toughest, toughest uh, storms. Yeah, and then this was just on the top, wanted to flip back over spell work here. But again, you are highly protected collective but you're chosen. This is why you had to go through the things that you went through. Jesus had to carry a cross. Yeah, divine intervention, divine protection. This is double confirmation you're protected. The weapon cannot form, period. We got work with crystals here. So some of you need to work with crystals collective, or some of you have recently started working with crystals. Again, you were born to be a legend here. You were born to be a legend collective. Something about your legacy here. What did I say in the beginning? Something about your lineage, your ancestral history, your divine bloodline. Again, you were born to be a legend. Something about your legacy here. There is a legacy that you have collective, that you will leave behind collective. This is why spirit is trying to wake you up. I'm also getting there are some spiritual gifts that you have that you need to tap into, okay? This is why you need to work with crystals here. Working with crystals will also help you go through this transition here, this dark night of the soul. This purging process is what I'm hearing, collective. You're being ultimate, ultimately cleaned up, collective. You have this legacy to fulfill here. Yeah, and then we got black sheep. So yeah, some of you collective are literally the black sheep of the family here. You're the family member that everyone likes to talk about. You're the family member that's considered different. You could have also had a troubled past is what I'm hearing. You could have also had a troubled past here, but we got you are highly ranked in the spiritual world. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, picking up a lot of energy on this. Yeah, your family collective have labeled you like the black sheep of the family here. Yeah, but spirit is saying, do not worry. Again, you are highly protected here. The weapon cannot form collective. 
See, because you're chosen. I'm telling you. See, it's something about the weapon not forming. Because a lot of people like to say no weapon formed shall prosper. But it's something about you collective, who you are, that spirit is saying the weapon cannot form. It can't even form collective. This is powerful. This is why spirit said, do not worry. Do not worry. Remember, we saw divine intervention, divine protection. I'm hearing everything is going as planned. Cannot make this up again. Do not worry. And then we got Atlantis here. Again, this legacy, this lineage. Some of you are star seeds. Some of you come from this Lemurian bloodline here. Some of you come from this Atlantis line here. But there is a legacy that you have collective. There is a legacy. This is why spirit is waking you up. You have a legacy to fulfill. You have a legacy to literally literally fulfill here. Yeah, you're highly ranked. This came back up again. And then we got empath. Again, work with crystals. A lot of us collectives are empaths. So it's like we're sponges. We're just soaking up energy. We're just, we're literally soaking up energies here. You need to work with crystals, definitely. Crystals also help as an extra layer of protection here. You're protected by the angels. You're protected by the divine. Um, but really quick, like prayer is the foundation, okay, of protection. You need to pray. That's number one, but also working with crystals. Now we're talking about, um, it's levels to everything. Crystals are extra protection of, um, extra layer of protection collective, but you're highly protected. But what did I say? It's something about you, collective, why the weapon cannot form. It's something about your legacy here that you have to fulfill, collective. I feel this in my soul, like literally. I feel an anointing on me as I'm speaking, collective. Yeah, we got third eye is awakening. Third eye is awakening here. Again, spirit is waking you up literally. Waking you up literally collective so you can recognize. Yeah, wow, this is dope. We got God's ambassador and then Jesus descendant. What did I say? Something about your lineage here some of you collective literally are jesus descendants you literally come from the same bloodline as jesus here and then we got god's ambassador what did i say i feel the anointing on me there is literally an anointing resting on me collective as i'm delivering this message this is serious you're working directly with God here. This is why God, this is why the divine is trying to wake you up. There is a legacy collective that you have to fulfill here. You need to open this third eye. Tap into your chakras. Tap into your chakras collective. What else is it that the collective need to know about this legacy? Fulfilling this legacy. <laughs> what, 
Wow, cannot make this up. This is dope. I just uploaded a video about alchemy, about alchemy, literally. We got Queen Nefertiti here, alchemy. Collective, some of you are, are real life alchemists. You're real life magicians, literally. I cannot make this up. Literally the last video or the or the second to last video that I uploaded. Go back and check out the title. Go back and check out the video here. It talks about alchemy here. Again, this is why spirit is trying to wake you up. Then we got fearless love here. Fearless love. This has to do with this legacy collective, this alchemy here. This is why you need to open your third eye. This is why you need to work with crystals. This is why angels are protecting you ultimately, collective. You are a magician. You're an alchemist. This is dope. What did I say is something about your legacy here you, that you have to fulfill. This is why this message is coming through so strong. I literally just did an upload about being an alchemist. And then this is the one of the first cards that came out. The number 38 could be significant. Some of you could be 38 years old. You could be a path life number 11 or the month of November could be significant here. I'm also getting 1111. You could be seeing 1111. You could be born on 1111. I'm also getting November 7th. And I'm also getting July 11th. But with this fearless love here, I'm getting unconditional. Unconditional. This is the love that the divine have for you, this fearless love, this unconditional love collective, because again, who you are, the gifts that you have, the bloodline that you come from collective. This is dope, like, this is dope, Collective. I cannot believe the alchemy card came back out. Yeah, and we got creativity here. The Seven Sisters card, creativity. Again, you're a magician here with this alchemy card. There is no one more creative than the magician. And I'm getting um, Collective... Um, March the 12th or December the 3rd could be significant here. You could be seeing 777 or 77. But I'm also getting collective for some of you. You're going to come into contact with people more like you your soul tribe, your soul family, some sort of um, small group or, or organization or something where you're going to be working with other people doing something. This is a small group of seven here. Again, this won't resonate with everyone, but it will for some. And even though this is feminine energy on the card, it doesn't matter. Flip the roles. Um... So for the masculine energies, this, this message is for you as well. You could easily, like I say, start meeting people more like you, people in your soul family, your soul tribe. But I do see some sort of collaboration or connections taking place here, collective. Yeah, we got secrets revealed and then we have intuition here.
So you need to use your intuition, collective. You need to use your intuition. You're very intuitive, okay? There are psychic powers that you have, some sort of clairvoyance. But there are some things that is going to be revealed to you. You need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. You maybe need to meditate or do some sort of yoga here. But this is why spirit is saying intuition. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your inner self collective. There are secrets that are going to be revealed to you. There is something that the divine is trying to communicate with you collective. Wow, yeah, we got level up, baby. And then we got miracles. You're about to level up to these miracles here. You're about to walk into these miracles that the divine literally have for you, collective. This is why spirit is saying, wake up. The divine is trying to level you up. What did I say earlier? Something about its levels to this. When I think, I believe I talked about prayer, how prayer is the foundation crystals certain crystals are great for protection as well but it's just an extra layer of protection spirit is you're being elevated collective you're being elevated this is beautiful this is dope this is dope somebody comment down below if this is you like <laughs> This is dope. This is beautiful. Like you're really an alchemist here. You can perform miracles. Some of you can literally perform miracles collective. And, and, and yeah, this is why you need to listen to your intuition. Remember, we got secrets revealed. Yeah. See, like we got alchemy today. We got alchemy today. But the divine is going to confirm things. There are some things that the divine is going to confirm. These are going to become like secrets. You're not going to know these things, collective. Like you might hear it from me today talk about alchemy. And then later today, the divine might uh, send you some sort of confirmation or reveal something to you about alchemy. About this is your gift. You have you having this uh, ability here. Yeah, and we got giving and receiving. Yeah, there's a lot of information, a lot of secrets that the divine is going to be giving you collective. You need to um, open up your third eye to receive these. Not just your third eye, but to be specific, um, we did get that card to come out. Yeah, we got joy. We got joy collective. Yeah, with grief cannot make this up. See, some of you been grieving. What did I say when I started this uh, message? A lot of us have been, you know, I, I was feeling like a, picking up a sad energy. Something about the things that you went through collective. Something about the things that you went through. Again, a lot of you have been grieving. A lot of us collective have been grieving. But it's like there's joy in the morning. There is a joy in the morning collective. I'm hearing it's morning for you. It's morning. This is why spirit is, is, is trying to wake you up. And this came back out, giving and receiving here. Giving and receiving. So collective, for some of you, you need to give more. You need to give more. Because that is how you receive more. The more you give, the more you get. That's just the law of attraction, how this works. The more you give, the more you get. But you need to make sure that you are exchanging energies with the right people, with the right, um, like, 
um giving back to charities donating clothes um donating food feeding the homeless things like that like it needs to be a good energy that you're giving in in order to receive it back in that same energy for it to be um abundant if that makes sense What else is it that the collective needs to know about this legacy? Wow. We got worthiness. Know your worth, collective. Worthiness. You need to find out your worth if you already don't know it, collective. I'm getting October the 14th here. December 16th. But you have a big legacy collective, a huge legacy. You're about to find out your worth is what I'm hearing. You're about to find out your worth. This is why God is waking you up. Yeah, we got desire and then we have shine. Yeah, see, a lot of you have the desire to shine, collective. You have the desire to shine. But I'm hearing you hold everything within you. Everything that you need to shine is within you. You can literally tap into all of your heart desires, collective. You are a powerful ma uh, magician. You're an alchemist here. A powerful manifester. Yes, yeah, some of you are emperors here. What else is it that the collective need to know? What else is it that the collective need to know? Wow. Yeah, we got the nine of swords. What did I say again? Starting this video off. You've just been feeling sad. I was picking up a sad energy. Yes, yeah, some of you are just up at night stressing collective. You could be having headaches, migraines. But you're literally up at night stressing collective. Spirit is saying the rainy season is over. I see a lot of earth here, a lot of harvest, a lot of green, a lot of grass here. Yeah, I'm also hearing some of you like, didn't know how you you were going to make it. You didn't know how you and your children was going to eat. But this whole time you are protected. You're being prepared to walk into this legacy collective. There is a legacy that you have to fulfill. Yeah, with the temperance card here. Things are being balanced for you. Things are being balanced. Cannot make it up with the six of wands. This is this legacy that you're walking into collective. This is this legacy that you're walking into. You're literally going from the nine of swords here to the six of wands energy. This is why spirit is trying to wake you up. 
This is why the weapon cannot form. This is your destiny. This is your legacy here. You were born to be a legend. Remember that. You were born to be a legend collective. That's this six of wands here. Public victory, public success. People looking up to you. You could be potentially a celebrity collective. Someone in the public eye. A motivational speaker, inspirational speaker. You could be a tarot reader. I don't know. Comment down below. What is your legacy? What is your legacy collective? Because, yeah, you've been stressing here. But Spirit has said, this is you right here. You're going from the Nine of Swords into the Six of Wands energy collective. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is why Spirit is saying, learn your worth. Learn your worth. You are a powerful uh, alchemist here, powerful ma magician. Remember, giving and receiving. And do it in the right energy collective so that you can be blessed. It's nothing worse than you call yourself helping someone, right? But then you complain the whole time helping them. That don't count. You might as well start all over again. So when you're giving... Give in a beautiful energy. Give from the heart. So I really hope this video resonated with someone today. Um, if it does, please leave a like. If you would like to donate to the channel, the information will be in the description. Thank you guys so much.